Hi guys, Venus here. Oh, sorry. I know it's been, I know it's been a, l a long, long while, but it feels like ages and forever ago since the freaking Victorian era, since I've uploaded a video and talked to you guys. I've had a lot, a lot to deal with since the beginning of the year. Like, a lot so much even then from last year before last year even ended I had a lot I, I dealt with and that I'm still dealing with but it's not or I want to say it's not as bad or it feels not as bad as it felt back then But it is, but it isn't. It doesn't feel rough. It doesn't, but it does. It doesn't feel as bad. But there's days where it feels like I can't even, some days I can't. I just really can't. With a shit sometimes or some days. So, oh. And, oh, first of all, before I even continue, sorry, or apol or I apologize about the la bad language that I may have during this video. I don't want YouTube or whatever it is to give me a strike about the bad language or any of that stuff. But anyway, going on or continuing on, I have my PJs, so please don't don't judge me. I'm home. I'm comfortable. I came back about a about an hour or two ago. I came back home about an hour or two ago because I went to the mob museum. It was my first time since who knows when that i kept promising myself that i was gonna go to the moth museum and oh my goodness i'm telling you it was an amazing experience although i didn't get to go to to the backyard or whatever it is that they have when you go to the underground bar thing but anyway continuing on with my weird story live that I haven't talked about or any of that stuff since who knows how fucking long. But anyway, I kept on meaning to upload, to make a video and talk to you guys about me and what the heck is been going on with me and all that. I kept meaning to, but I never really got around it. Even though I kept on meaning to and never did, it's because I've been dealing with so many, with uh, personal things, dealing with um, personal demons, with, with a battle with myself battle with my personal demons that that's not good that's that's really rough and tough if you guys know what I'm talking about or know what I mean about having to battle having to battle with my personal demons and all that you know how that feels you know how that is there's there has been days where i feel like i'm on top of the fucking world like it like i can do anything and it feels amazing it feels fucking amazing 
and there's has been times and days where I don't even want to get off my I don't even want to get up or get off my bed or I don't even want to walk my dog or take him take him out for his walks not even that but I I deal with that every day every single effing day sorry <laughs> I'm not I don't Sorry, this is not how I wanted to begin or even end the video or any. But, you guys, if any of you out there know how that feels, you know how ugly it feels. Like, how ugly it fucking feels to battle with to fight with your own self to even get off your bed to even go to the fucking restroom even when you don't want to I mean it sounds stupid but if you, if any of you out there know you know how that how ugly that feels to have to fight with your own self about that. I love my dog. I love this little guy. He he helps me every day. He helps me battle my demons. He helps me fight this battle with myself every day. I love him. I mean, he may not understand me every day, right? Your pets may not fully understand how much they help you. But this little guy, I, I'm thankful for this little guy. This little furball here with me. I'm thankful that I have him. Because if it were for him, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I don't know how how lonely or how happy I would feel or how hard it would feel to battle to fight this every day. Um I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't want to begin my video or be in the middle like this crying. I'm sorry. I don't want to I really don't just please don't judge me because you know sometimes talking even if you guys it, to even if talking to the freaking camera out loud or something I don't know it might help Somehow, some way, I don't know. Maybe somebody out there might feel almost the same way, or I don't know, the way that I do. I don't know. I don't know anybody. I mean, I know there's a lot of people out there fighting depression, fighting their own fucking demons out there. I don't know. Just don't please I just want this to be a safe place for anybody that may be struggling with something to come together and talk listen to each other help each other I don't know I'm sorry I'm, I'm being fucking ridiculous right now but I don't know I'm, I just came by and say to you guys hi how are you i'm sorry i've been i've been gone for a long fucking time that i haven't uploaded anything you know like i've mentioned before battle, battling my own fucking demons since i don't know since who, who knows fuck 
I mean, I do know since when, right? But you guys don't really need to know the whole fucking story. Since, since when? Just know I'm not going to harm myself. I'm, I'm not going to. I'm, I don't even think about harming myself at all or anybody else. Please, no. Don't. Please, don't. Don't. Don't worry about that because that's not gonna happen. Not myself, not to myself, not anyone else, not my dog. He helps me in many ways than the others that you guys are able to to imagine. He helps me in so many ways. And I'm thankful I have my dog with me. His name is Toby, by the way. You guys have seen him a, a few times before. On my channel. You guys have seen him before on my channel. But anyway. <sighs> anyway, other than that. I've been okay. Trying not to. Overthink it. And being looking in many in many other places how where to get help and you know i've called the the mental health people uh, for my insurance and all and i already got an appointment for that which is good i just need to reschedule my appointment for my di for my endocrinologist if you if you guys haven't really this is my pump my insulin pump so I just need to reschedule my appointment for my endocrinologist and all. Toby here has a heart murmur. We need to save up him. Toby and I need to save up money for his cardiologist because he needs to get he needs to get a specialist for his heart. And it's it's not bad. His heart it's about. 30 40 percent bigger than it should be and it's bad it's i mean i wouldn't say it's like dangerously bad but it's bad enough that it's he's been having some cough and that's not good i'm just hoping he stays around for a little while longer i don't know if i told his story before though but he's a rescue. One of my mom's friends from work found him somewhere in the street. And I, from what I remember that I was told, he, he came to her house or something, to my mom's friend from work. She, Toby came to her house or something or something along those lines and her my mom's friend didn't want him and my mom didn't want him because she only I don't know why but my mom only wants girls and not boys I don't know why but she's really mean and discriminatory I feel like I mean, what the hell is a boy dog gonna do? Nothing. Anyway, anyway, continue, continuing on. My mom didn't want him. My mom's friend didn't want him. So I told my mom, I want him. Bring him over. I'll take him. I'll take him in. And that was bad in late 2017 around July, August or some somewhere around there that I got him and he was in really bad shape poor little thing was in really bad shape on his left hind leg has a really ugly scar the swelling hasn't gone down and on his 
right eye under his right eye he's got a scar we i don't know what happened none we my mom or i don't know what really happened to him because when my mom got him toby when my mom got him my mom said he was in a really really bad shape and when my mom gave him to me he it seemed like he was he was in such a rough state in shape that he wouldn't trust me he it took about a month or two perhaps three for him to fully trust me to really really fully trust me and get used to me and all that because at first he, he didn't even want me to look at him or anything at all and I felt bad for the poor little thing it was it was not good I mean poor thing give me the poor little thing he was in such a rough ugly state his wounds were really not okay and then when my mom and I when my mom and I took him to the animal shelter to get to get his shots they had mentioned about his um, heart murmur and I didn't know at, at that time, I never really knew how bad a heart murmur was until I took him to the bed. It, bed, it's really close by like walking distance close. So we, I didn't know how bad it really was until I took him to the bed. So he's taking meds for for his heart and all which is really good I mean I have I mean it sounds wrong maybe but some days I have to kind of like force it down his throat and that's not good because he he there's days where he won't take the meds and if he doesn't or just fits it back out I won't even try giving him the meds anyway. If he doesn't want it, he doesn't want it. I mean, I don't know. I can't I can't really force it down on him if he doesn't really want it, if that makes any sense. But anyway, so far we're good with Toby and you know? all. Just trying to save some money. To take him back to the vet or to get the appointment for his cardiologist you know to get a better understanding and a better um uh appointment understanding or um what's it called what the fuck is the word that i'm looking for better Oh my God, I'm forgetting the fucking word. The exams, better exams for him, for his heart murmur, for his heart. Because like I mentioned before, his heart, it's about 30 or 40% bigger than it should be. And that's not good. But just as far as I'm concerned, poor little thing is doing well and he... And he's handling himself better than I imagined he would. Even without him taking the medications. And that's good. So, I'm happy about that. But anyway, so, just came, wanted to come by and say that I'm doing fine, first of all. I mean, other than battling my own demons and fighting every day and others 
being on top of the fucking world like oh my fucking god i can do anything i'm fucking wonder i'm super girl wonder woman everything like every fucking superhero that you can imagine superwoman wonder woman freaking sailor moon for all i fucking know shit that woman cat woman i don't know some days i feel like i'm the this superhero heroine in the world that i can do anything that i'm on top of the fucking world jesus christ but other days i i fight my i fight with myself to get off my bed and walk my dog and walk toby and take him out for his walks even if it's on the pet to the patio jesus <sighs> but you know i mean other than that freaking vegas gets hotter than hell over the summertime it gets hotter than hell jesus christ i mean if you've ever been to vegas to las vegas sin city jesus christ you know how fucking hot it gets here especially over the fucking summer oh jesus christ oh my god i mean if you know you know but anyway other than that like any other person battling my own fucking demons trying to see everything trying to figure out everything i mean um now that i'm 30 I'm still trying to figure out everything. I'm still trying to figure out my fucking life. Nobody. Nobody. As far as I know. I, I know I don't have my life figured out just yet. I mean other people. You. You. Out there in the world. You. Out there watching my video. If you have your life figured out and everything. Jesus Christ. I'm happy for you. Je Jesus. Shit. Tell me how the fuck you do it. Please tell me how the fuck do you do it. To have your life figured out already. Just please tell me the fucking secret. Just please. But. For. Any other of you out there. That still don't know. Or not yet figured out your life. Even if you're freaking 60 years old. I don't care how old you are. If you really. If you still really don't have your life figured out. It's fine. We're, we're only human. We're not. This freaking. We're not a super. We're not a superhero. Nobody is. Even then, nobody has their life figured out yet. Or, as, or, I mean, I know I don't. I don't know about you, but I know I don't. Jesus, I'm still trying to figure it out. I figure out what the hell to do with my own fucking self. Let alone my dog. I mean, he... I mean, not... Not talking bad about my dog. Oh, Jesus. I'm sure he knows. I'm sure he has his life figured out already. I mean, if I'm not looking after him, who else is going to look after him if it's not me? You know? But anyway, <sighs> I'm sorry about my weird rambling my weird life story right now jesus anyway i just wanted to come by and say hi oh one more thing before i leave last year around october around october or the first of october i moved out of my last house i know in a couple of videos my videos were a little bit darker in a different video 
I mean, in a different room or something like that. But last some last year around October, I I moved that I moved out of my that other apartment that you guys have seen on the background. This new background is because it's in a new studio apartment that I moved to last year around October. But anyway, maybe I'll talk more about it maybe next time or next video or something. But anyway, I hope you guys are doing good. Be safe out there. Don't fight with anybody. Help each other. Be friends with each other. Make a new friend for all I know. Help somebody. Be a listening ear. If you know. If you see somebody that needs help. Please help them. Even if. I mean. Just don't force it down on somebody's fucking throat. Just don't. Don't be a creep. Be a helping hand. Please. Just as long as you don't come out as weird or a creep. Because that's not good. But anyway, other than that. Other than that. Be a friendly person. Help people. Be a helping hand. A listening ear. If you see somebody that needs a, a shoulder to cry on. Please help them i don't know invite somebody out for coffee for all i fucking know but anyway you guys be safe out there be happy in june pride month so be on the lookout for that so oh if you guys if you guys want please like subscribe and comment down like subscribe subscribe and comment down below if you like this video or if you want me to talk about something different next next time or next video i probably today is friday so i'm probably gonna upload or make another another video next friday I'm not sure i gotta figure out some type of some type of freaking schedule over here because my my schedule from from work it's really fucking weird, so I don't know. Gotta figure out something, some kind of schedule for videos here, and if I'm gonna start uploading more videos. But anyway, if you have another topic or idea that you may want me to talk about for next video, if only if you're watching please comment it down below so don't forget please comment like and comment down below like and subscribe and i'll see you guys later bye don't forget happy pride month